Hello Dub Nation, it's always a thrill to connect with you, especially as we're about to reveal the latest news that could shape the fate of our beloved Golden State Warriors, but before we dive into this whirlwind of information, let me make a friendly request, show us some love by clicking the like button to strengthen our bond and hey, if you are not subscribed yet, join our channel for a thrilling and emotional journey. Don't forget to turn on notifications to stay ahead of the game. Warriors receive surprisingly favorable ranking for coaching destinations. With an aging core seemingly in decline over the past two years, including missing the playoffs this season, one might think the Golden State Warriors are an undesirable franchise at the moment. However, the Warriors still have plenty in their favor, led by one of the greatest players in the game's history and an owner unafraid to spend. Golden State Warriors ranked as the 14th most desirable franchise for new coaches. After UConn's Dan Hurley declined the Los Angeles Lakers' pursuit to make him their new coach, Sam Quinn of CBS Sports evaluated each NBA team based on their attractiveness to a new coach. Despite finishing 10th in the West, the Warriors achieved a relatively favorable result by ranking 14th overall, including 8th among Western Conference teams. This is a high-pressure job, and, Joe, Lacob is more involved than most owners, but there's enough talent to be competitive now and enough maneuverability to figure out the long term, even after the Warriors abandoned their two-timeline scheme. Sam Quinn. Ranking Highlights. The Oklahoma City Thunder secured the top spot due to their rise this season and their stockpile of future assets, while the Boston Celtics ranked second on the same day they took a 3-0 lead in the NBA Finals. Although the Warriors finished last in the Pacific Division this season, these rankings suggest they have the brightest future among the five teams. The Sacramento Kings, ranked 19th, were seen as having limited advantages. The Lakers, in 20th place, were viewed as a job that sets coaches up to fail. The Clippers ranked 21st amid uncertainty surrounding Paul George's future, and the Phoenix Suns, with few assets, managed only 24th. Optimistic outlook for the Warriors. Despite Golden State's disappointing season, these rankings provide a more optimistic view of the franchise's potential both short and long term. This outlook could change drastically in the coming months, especially if they take the risk of sacrificing young assets for a key piece to win now. Overall, the Warriors' mix of existing talent, financial resources, and strategic flexibility makes them an attractive destination for any new coach looking to make an immediate impact and build for the future. That would scare me, Warriors warned about trading for 6x All-Star. Miami Heat star Jimmy Butler is currently the buzzword linked to the Golden State Warriors, facing some uncertainty about his future with his eligibility for a contract extension. While there hasn't been any strong indication that Butler will hit the trade market this offseason, Anthony Slater of The Athletic reported two weeks ago that he expects the Warriors to enter the conversation at least to some extent if the 6x All-Star becomes available. Golden State Warriors cautioned on trading for Jimmy Butler due to his alpha personality and injury history. Butler is seeking a two-year extension worth $113 million from the Heat, with speculation that both sides could explore a trade if the franchise doesn't offer the deal. The prospect of a Butler trade to Golden State is certainly intriguing, as the franchise looks to add more firepower after missing the playoffs this season. However, as excellent a player as Butler is, especially as a standout in the playoffs, trading for him would also bring significant risks, as noted by journalist Nick Friedel on 95.7 The Game's Willard and Dibs on Thursday. I think it fits on paper, but I'm not sure how he fits in that locker room as the alpha personality he is. And I don't know if, after all the wear and tear on his knees, the Warriors would want to give him that extension. That would scare me a lot. Nick Friedel. Blending Butler's personality with players like Draymond Green would be an interesting dynamic, though perhaps less concerning given how well the Warriors have integrated Chris Paul into their locker room this season. At 34 years old, Butler hasn't played more than 65 games since the 2016-17 season, most recently missing the entire Heat's first-round series loss to the Boston Celtics due to a sprained MCL in his right knee. Age, injury history, and personality are factors to consider, not to mention that a trade would need to match Butler's $48.8 million salary for the upcoming season. However, it might be the kind of risk the Warriors need to take if such an opportunity presents itself this offseason. Stephen Curry drops out of top 5 of the era due to one non-MVP. Warriors star Stephen Curry included himself in his list. Golden State Warriors Stephen Curry is undeniably one of the greatest players to ever grace the NBA. A four-time NBA champion and two-time MVP, his accolades place him among the elite. But where does he rank himself in terms of career achievements? In a recent episode of Heat Check alongside his father Dell, Curry revealed who he believes are the five best players of his era. 
Curry's top 5, including himself, but one non-MVP makes the cut. Curry's list featured himself, LeBron James, Kevin Durant, James Harden, and Kawhi Leonard. It's a strong lineup. Except for Harden, all have multiple championships. Except for Leonard, all have MVP awards. Curry explained that although he played against Kobe Bryant and Tim Duncan in the early years of his career, he didn't include them because he was defining the era from 2009 to 2023. This period marks the peak performances of the players on his list, while Bryant and Duncan did most of their work in earlier years. Though Curry may be in the twilight of his NBA career, when all is said and done, he could retire as the greatest player in Warriors franchise history. Stephen Curry and the Warriors face a crucial offseason. With only two seasons removed from their last championship, the Warriors find themselves far from that glory. The 2023-24 regular season was a struggle, ending with a first-round play-in elimination by the Sacramento Kings. Now, they face a pivotal offseason that could drastically alter their trajectory. A major issue is the future of Klay Thompson. While Thompson and the Warriors could technically agree on a contract extension, it seems likely he is heading towards unrestricted free agency. Thompson will certainly attract interest on the open market. The Warriors must decide the cost of retaining one of their franchise pillars. As currently constructed, the Warriors are far from championship contenders. Stephen Curry's current contract runs through the 2025-26 season. By then, Curry will be 37 years old. He's still performing at an elite level. Last season, he played 74 games, averaging over 32 minutes per game with 26.4 points, 4.5 rebounds, and 5.1 assists, shooting 45% from the field, 40.8% from three-point range, and 92.3% from the free-throw line. Curry undoubtedly has several good seasons left. The Warriors face the dilemma of wasting Curry's remaining prime years with a non-contender or making quick moves to return to title contention, which may or may not include Thompson. It's also crucial to note that coach Steve Kerr's two-year contract extension aligns with Curry's current contract. Clay Thompson sparks frenzy with latest social media move. It might be DEFCON 1 for the Golden State Warriors as longtime star Clay Thompson stirs the pot. The beloved four-time Warriors champion caused a major stir on Friday with his latest social media activity. Thompson unfollowed the Warriors on his Instagram and wiped almost all team-related content from his page. This move was quickly noticed by many, including KNBR in San Francisco. This comes at a crucial time as Thompson, who will turn 35 next season, is about to enter unrestricted free agency. Despite being a lifelong Warriors icon, there are significant doubts about whether Golden State, a team burdened by luxury taxes and in desperate need of reducing payroll, can offer Thompson the new contract he desires. The Warriors' concerns are valid, given Thompson's history of severe lower body injuries and coming off one of his worst seasons in terms of production and efficiency. In recent months, several external suitors have already shown interest in the five-time NBA All-Star, including one with whom he reportedly has mutual interest. With free agency officially opening on June 30, the pressure is mounting on the Warriors. Thank you for staying up to date with the latest news about the Golden State Warriors, we hope you enjoyed the insights and highlights we shared, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for real-time updates on the most exciting team in the NBA, stay feel free to share your ideas and opinions about Kinga's role in the next season, let's hope together for the Warriors' success.